The matchbox production process, from tree to flame. Cutting and peeling, the wood logs are cut into thin sheets using a veneer peeling machine. The humble matchbox, an everyday object we take for granted, undergoes a fascinating journey from raw materials to a finished product. Wood selection, the process begins with choosing the right wood. Poplar and aspen are the most widely used choices due to their straight grain, low cost, and good burning properties. These sheets are then chopped into small sticks, slightly longer than the final matchsticks. The thin wood sheets, called veneers, are fed into a specialized machine called a splint chopping machine. This machine is typically equipped with multiple blades arranged in a precise pattern. It transforms the thin sheets of wood, obtained from peeling logs, into the individual matchsticks we use daily. Splint treatment, cleaning and sieving, the wood splints are cleaned to remove impurities and then sieved to ensure a uniform size. Carbonization. To improve their burning quality, the splints are heated in a kiln without oxygen. This process, called carbonization, gives the sticks their characteristic black color. Matchstick formation. Cutting and dipping. The carbonized splints are cut to the desired length and dipped in a paraffin wax solution to improve burning time and water resistance. Drying and head application. The splints are dried and then dipped into a chemical mixture containing sulfur, potassium chlorate, and other ingredients that form the match head. These chemicals react together when the match head is struck, creating a spark and igniting the wood. Matchbox paperboard cutting, precision shapes for inner and outer boxes. In the intricate world of matchbox production, paperboard cutting plays a crucial role in creating both the inner and outer boxes that protect and hold the matchsticks. This process requires precision and accuracy to ensure consistent shapes and sizes for optimal assembly. Matchbox paperboard printing, adding color, information, and identity. And printing plays a crucial role in enhancing its visual appeal and conveying vital information. Offset printing. This traditional method is widely used for large-scale production. It employs offset plates to transfer ink onto the paperboard, offering high-quality prints and vivid colors. Digital printing. This modern technology offers on-demand printing with short lead times and variable data capabilities. It's perfect for personalized designs and smaller production runs. Friction surface application. A strip of sandpaper or other abrasive material is applied to the side of the matchbox where the match head will strike. It provides the friction needed to ignite the match head when struck. The earliest known matches were invented in China around 577 AD and consisted of thin sticks of wood dipped in sulfur. Friction matches, similar to modern ones, were first developed in the 1800s by John Walker and others. The late 19th and early 20th centuries saw the rise of large-scale matchbox factories, utilizing advanced machinery for production. Outer box making. A decorative paperboard is used to create the outer box, which holds the inner box and provides protection and branding. Inner box making. The inner box is typically made of thin paperboard. It protects the matchsticks and the striking surface from damage. The friction surface is positioned inside the box, with the match heads facing outward. Folding and gluing. The inner box is folded and glued to secure the matchsticks and form the final box shape. Automation plays a significant role in modern matchbox production, with machines handling many of the tasks. Safety is paramount throughout the process, with factories utilizing various measures to prevent fires and explosions. Quality control and packaging. Matchstick placement. The matchsticks are carefully arranged inside the inner box, with their heads facing outwards. The completed inner box containing the matchsticks is inserted into the outer box. Inspection. The finished matchboxes undergo rigorous inspection to ensure quality and safety. 
Chemical dipping. The completed matchboxes are dipped in a chemical solution to prevent afterglow and ensure safety. Lab testing. Samples are randomly tested for ignition temperature, burning time, and other quality parameters. Packing for shipment. Modern factories utilize automated packing lines for increased efficiency and speed. Each completed matchbox undergoes final inspection for missing matches, damaged boxes, or any other inconsistencies. Throughout the packing process, safety protocols are strictly adhered to, especially regarding flammable materials and potential hazards. The finished matchboxes are packed into cartons or larger boxes for transportation and distribution. The matchbox packing process plays a crucial role in ensuring the safety, functionality, and aesthetic appeal of the final product. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more great content.